Hello there, welcome back to our QNX training videos. In this session I will show you how to attach to an already running target. Of course you need first to connect the Trace32 to the target and then you can start the target. But after starting the target, the target will start as just without the connection of the Trace32, so it will run in normal mode. And after that we will attach with the Trace32 onto the running target so you can debug the target from a specific point on. As already mentioned I'm using a Panda board and I inserted an SD card with MLO, the NAND flash bootloader and U-boot as a standard bootloader and on the SD card there is also the QNX IFS to start it. Now first let's start a terminal window to see something. Then power on the board. You can see the bootloader starting. And then we can start our IFS that is on the MMC card with the terminal. So first I have to init initialize the MMC. Then I have to load the IFS This is actually the start address that was given in the QNX creation process I mentioned that when creating the QNX image for the debugger This is the IFS that we created and let's see. Don't care about the invalid size, it will run anyway. And we start it. Again with the start address of the image. And hopefully it starts. As you can see, QNX is starting. Okay, QNX started. And let's see. So, it's a standard QNX version on the Panda board. Now we want to attach actually on that running system. So we start today's 32. Here we are. Let's make it that way. So that you can see both sides. I prepared a small script that actually does the attach. We will have a look at the script later. Do QNX attach. And as you can see, we attach to the running process. And it loads all the symbols that are necessary. And here we are, actually. No, we attach to the running system and halted actually the system, so we are stopped. And let's first look to it a little bit bigger. We stopped in PROC NTO and we are in the idle loop, which just means the idle loop of the kernel, so the kernel does actually nothing currently. And don't care about this dashed lines because uh, there usually should be the source code displayed. But this is the kernel itself. I don't have the source code for the kernel itself, so that's why it's dashed because uh, we don't have the source code of this lines. And now you could do anything. You can do go and break as usual. You can look into the resources of QNX, for example, this way, the process that are currently running. You can see that we have the shell here and we have all those drivers running on the target. And now we could start debugging whatever you need to debug, probably processes. I'd like to show you the batch file that I used to, to attach to that target. And it's quite a lot of settings for the debugger. We don't care about the settings for the debugger and the QNX awareness right now. It will be for a later session. Uh, we just look at the important stuff for the attaching, which is actually this command, 
system mode attach which actually connects the debugger to a running target so the target keeps on running it just initializes the JT controllers that you can control the CPU so after the attach the target will continue to run so what we do next is actually the break command so that we hold the target and have access to everything the memory, the CPU itself, whatsoever so those two commands actually attach to the target and hold the target and the next important thing here is actually this line which loads the symbols of the kernel itself so these are the generated symbols as I showed you in the last sessions how to clear the symbols for the kernel so here we load data load elf, it's an elf file this is the name of the kernel symbol file and slash no code to load just the symbols otherwise you would load this code as well and overload it onto the target which is not required so slash no code to, to just load the symbols everything else is standard for some other settings as I said setting up the QNX awareness and but that's not that important right now we will ha have a look at it later so keep in mind the system mode attach the break and the loading of the symbols this is actually the most important part for attaching to a running target that is for now it was a quite quick session the next session will then be how to download and start QNX with Trace32 rather than from an SD card thanks for watching See you for the next session.